So I was reviewing um, more pictures of the Bawu sleeves version from um, episode 7 of um, Unicorn. And surprisingly, there, again, I said this before, there is no uh, imagery online of what the sleeves kit, uh, you know, like the, the actual mobile suit in action looks like from the, from the anime. I had actually go online, um, I think it was on Kiss Anime that I went to look for episode 7, go to that part to the scene where I, the Bawu, you know, was introduced, and it was kicking, uh, it was destroying the, um, the, re the Rizil, I think it is, the, um, and, uh, just seeing which one, which parts that needs to be, re you know, if I miss something, if there's some parts that needs to be repainted in a different color. For starters, the shield is not brown, it's actually dark green, so, good, um, I thought I was worried about maybe if I did it wrong, maybe in the anime it was dark, you know, brown, but it's actually dark green. So, that one was taken care of. You know, <clears throat> didn't have to worry about that. All the yellow is white, like I've confirmed. And of course, the one thing that I was a bit... Uh, and of course, it, it's not exactly this kit because of the uh, waist that I just mentioned before. Um, there is one thing that was in the anime that it showed briefly. Um, in fighter mode, it had the two missile packs on the wings, but in nutter mode, it looks like they customized the nutter mode to have missiles on that as well. So that got me thinking, don't I have any, 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 any leftover parts from a kit that I have probably haven't built or used as scrap that could sup uh, could supplement the, the missiles. Um, I think I do. I think I do. I just don't know where it is. But I'm going to also add that to this kit as well. So not only missiles will be on the uh, wings of the um, attacker, on the nutter the wings will be. <laughs> All the things fall off, including this part. Uh, uh, let's make sure nothing's dropped. As long as nothing, oh, good. So I'll repeat it again. All the wings, all the missiles on the attacker will be on the attacker version, and then I'll make custom missiles for the nutter. So that way it shows exactly how it was like. Um, that should be fair enough. That should be fair enough. I'm going to try to get all the yellow on this. I just finished putting all the orangey red colors here. But I don't want to, um, since I know this is white, and I think this is white, but I didn't actually see the image of that in the anime. Hmm. Huh. Guess I'm going to have to do research again. Yeah. Right now, this is just, uh, I'll put this together, and we'll make a decision whether I will paint it the red, make it leave it red, or do it exactly, you know, maybe on the anime, I don't know yet, uh, I'll figure this out. I'll probably leave this red, since it's actually part of the weapon trim for this, so we'll, we'll leave that alone. So let me just continue on, and, I'll con and we'll discover other stuff during the course of this build. Alright, so all the parts are separated, orange, yellow, black, and purple, no, oh, sorry, brown. And all the charcoal parts. Or the light bluish charcoal parts, you could say. While I was cutting these, I was looking at some of the parts. And some of them um, may require a change up in some color, as I was talking before. Um, one thing, for example, when I was looking at um, the episode of the um, Bawu sleeves type, the missiles was actually white. I believe I saw that it were white instead of black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ch turn this into uh, white as well. Um, some of them will be black, like you see here. I don't know about where this part goes. But I have to review which which one is which. This will be, of course, green. Um, the actual beam rifle itself. I want to change up some things. Maybe give it another tone of color someplace. 
it's a shame I had um, a type of paint that um, Mr. Hobby did where when you spray paint it I did this on on a um, on a kit a while back you spray paint it a color called iron and there's other various metal, metals but you spray paint it, it looks like very very uh, muddy that goes on the part but wait until it, just before it dries you take a cloth and you begin rubbing it and then you see the shine come through and it has that weird um, rusted metal effect if I had that that would have been perfect for this but chances are what I'm probably going to do is let's see here maybe paint some some silver or maybe some dull silver color here by the grip and maybe by the barrel I don't know yet uh, paint this one black maybe I'm thinking of trying to do something with this one it's kinda hard it's interesting how I'm gonna do this if I'm gonna mask this off and then paint it all one color maybe paint it all um, red or maybe yellow haven't thought of the color to try maybe you guys can give me some um, ideas painting this circular part which I'm assuming is the capacitor for the rifle yeah because over here it is the I think the pistol grip is there or think that one goes on top no because that one goes on top now the pistol grip goes here but that's actually the um, the housing for the site all right I think I have everything all squared away. So I, I just remove the parts from the area and I'm going to snip them off nice and neat and then I'm, I'm going to assemble this so we can look at what the uh, bio looks like before painting it, before priming and painting and detailing it. So we'll do a side by side comparison. Alright? So let's get to work. Alright, so we're going to straight build the bio the RE100 Bawu first before we begin um, the, uh, the painting stage. But we want to see how this kit looks like and you know the unique features it has during the course of the build. So we're going to begin with this little guy right here that looks like that. And then this part that has to be like in this position. Stick that in there. So that's one like that. There's one like that, and then this little part here has these PC parts. One goes like that here, the other one goes right here. You grab these two parts here, I believe it has to be in this position, and then you stick this one in here. Um, since this thing has these little notches, make sure that it's in this configuration or in this position. You could and then stick it in like so, so it looks like that. And then we have this part here. That one goes in here. Let's, let's repeat. Come on, get in there. And we have the other one here. So that completes this this portion. Put that here for now. We will need this. This other poly cap here goes right there, easily. And then you have this little part, which is for the um, for the head. And there you go. That that's for that. Followed by this. Ooh, didn't see that. Carefully review all the parts. Make sure you remove all the uh, excess plastic. So it looks like that, and then you want to bend it down like this if you wish. Grabbing this part here has to be in this position, and then this charcoal part. Bring it down like so until it snaps into place. Keep it like that for now. Then flip it about. Grab two of these trim parts here and stick it in there. I'm gonna carefully just just nudge it in there a bit so later on I can pull it out because this is I'm gonna need it to paint it separate. 
put this here. Grab this. Now there are other polycaps here, so you want to the other um, same ones as the before. Put that one here. That one here. And then grabbing this no, not that one. This one. Put that in like so here. And put this one in like so like that. So it looks like this. Grabbing this part and this polycap. We're well, not polycap actually. It's not a polycap. Um, put the charcoal part in here. Then carefully bring it down on top of this. Now there are some scarring here that I've noticed, which of course is a byproduct of me removing the uh, the excess plastic. Um, I'll hope to clean that up soon. All right, so this part I think is done, so we'll put this here. Um, oh, once you put this one in here, of course, you want to take this guy in the back and. you connect him through here? No. How was that? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed a step. This one has to... Alright. <laughs> I tend to do that. I don't know why. I always seem to go ahead of myself. So, that one's like that. Oh, it goes under here. All right. So that snaps into place like so. All right. Oops. I'm sure that one came out. I guess it was not necessary. It didn't. It didn't. Didn't require me to remove this. But I have to get used to getting removing it because these are parts I'm going to be removing to paint. So that was a good dry run. All right. So that part is done. Then we take this in this position followed by this little part goes here followed by these two parts which I'll put them together like so then we latch that on here like so and then we have this guy there are two holes in there Okay, get them in there. And uh, you want to pull them out like that and then fold them in like this. Then you take this and then you stick that here. Like that. So it does so it has so it looks like this. And then we have the yellow part for the vents. these two parts followed by these two which of course locks the um, actual uh, these two side yellow parts locks the um, two black these two parts here into place which is an ingenious idea of course it makes detailing these little black parts here a bit of a chore if you want to give it a more detailed look to it Something to consider if you're going to openly transform this, you know, over and over. There we go. And then we have the two yellow parts, the cowls, it goes around here. And then we have these two parts here. Um, oh, you want to put them on. Let's see here. here and put this one here 
and then we have the two fuel tanks. One goes there, and the other one goes there. There we go. So that completes the torso. It's a lot of work for this little torso, but um, I have to plan this out in a way where I... Oops! Ah! A lot of things fall off. <laughs> Alright, yes. Yeah, so, uh, I'm not worried right now about that. That just fell on the floor. I have it right here in my foot. But clearly it's something that I'm going to have to look into to gluing after, you know, it's painted. But at least now I could see how it looks for its size and scale. And how I'm going to map it out painting it. Alright, so this part is complete. Let's move on to the next.